welcome back to another video. Now, I was just watching Generation Tech's video, uh, you know, it's um, Star Wars Clone Wars History video, and it, uh, that I recently released, and in it, it uh, covered uh, um, a couple of episodes uh, um, where basically Anakin and uh, um, Obi Wan uh, try and catch uh, uh, um, Count Dooku. And uh, there was an interesting bit that got me thinking. Now there was a bit where um, while they were while um, they were trying to escape uh, um, pa the pirates, um, Obi Wan saved Dooku's life. This got me thinking. What if Dooku died there? Because this was early in the Clone Wars, so the um, Confederate Confederate Confe the Confederacy of Independent Systems was uh, seeing a massive boom, but that was fa mostly, thankfully, uh, due to Sidious's uh, manipulation in the war, and it, um, just the fact that they got an early boom, and it, uh, with uh, um, you know Dooku's help. So, what if Dooku died there? What if Obi Wan either Ignored the fact that he could have saved Dooku and just let him die, or just didn't even notice how he could save him. What would have happened? Well, obviously this would have put a massive dent in um, Sidious's plan to, you know, make the Empire and everything. Because Count Dooku was um, a big cog in the machine that caused that to happen. So, in, you know, in the Clone Wars, basically. So, you know, Count Dooku dies, um, and the two Jedi escape. The Confederacy of Independent Systems is then left without a leader. Um, now, the only other candidates for being a leader that I know right now is Grievous, and the, um, oh, what's her name again? Uh, she's actually quite a good character, and I keep on. I'm just. Forgive me about this, guys, I'm just bad with names. Um. Not Bellatrix. Why am I thinking Bellatrix the Strange from Harry Potter? Um. A Sarge Ventress, there we go. The Sith Assassin Sarge Ventress. Those two are the only two that, right now, so far I know, could have uh, replaced Dooku. And I don't think any bit either of them could have replaced Dooku would have. Um, you know, um, a Sarge Ventress. She's a Sith, yes, but only an assassin and doesn't really have any training in politics or would really know how to run and run the Confederacy of Independent Systems. And the same goes for General Grievous. He, while, he, while being a bigger part of Sidious's plan, was still not is still not suited to you know lead the confederacy of independent systems while he is a great battle strategist just like vader he was not political at all like he had no political training um you know he had, he had no he, he had no idea of how to be political so i don't think the confederacy of independent systems would have you know, really let him lead. Um, ah, and even then, a lot of them thought he was a droid instead of a Kalish. So, yeah, neither of them had the ability to replace um, Count Dooku if he did die there. Now, Sid now Sidious did not know that Maul was still alive. If he if he did. And I would definitely think he would have gone in and, uh, you know, got him all and have him replace Dooku. But, like I said, at that point in time, Sidious did not know Maul was alive. And would not know that Maul was alive for another few years. So, there is no real other candidate beyond Maul that could reasonably take Dooku's place. And like I said, Sidious didn't even know Maul was still alive. So there's no chance of that happening. And Sidious himself can't really go out hunting for a new apprentice. 
because he has to be the Chancellor, and uh, um, with the war on, there's going to be, you know, Jedi and the uh, um, Senate guards escorting him everywhere, and if he just stepped one toe out of line, there'd be the Jedi, entire Jedi Order and the clone army on his ass. And at, uh, at that point in time, he would not have been ready to be, would not have been able to convert Anakin to the dark side. So he would have to still keep up the facade of being the, uh, the Chancellor and being a good guy. And I do believe without uh, M. Dooku, the Separatist, uh, you know, Confederacy of Independent Systems, or, you know, the Separatists, it would have just fallen. Like, yes, Palpatine would still be able to manipulate the war, but he wouldn't have been a able to really keep it going without Dooku. Like, feasibly talking, like, um, what I see here is a side ventress would probably maybe become his next apprentice, but I, I really doubt it. But it wouldn't have been the first time a Sith assassin became an apprentice. Cough, cough, Darth Maul. Cough, cough. Um, and yeah, so possible but unlikely. So the, the Separatists without a leader. There'd be a lot of infighting because essentially all the all the all the separatists want is profit. They're, they're businessmen. They, they want money. They want profit. Um, and they, they, there would just be constant infighting without a, a head, you know, a leader to keep them from tearing each other apart. So essentially, they would just either. So what would happen would either some separatists would just straight up leave the. You know, uh, the uh, you know just leave the separatist alliance, and uh, either rejoin the republic, or just go off and do their own thing. Um, and the ones that were left would be incredibly diminished in power, and uh, that would then mean that uh, you know. That they'd either be lacking the funds or the materials or something to keep up the war, meaning uh, the um, you know republic would uh, you know just be able to uh, you know take them out because they'd run out of resources, and it would turn into a battle of attrition. But this time, just like in the main time, but in this time, in the republic's favour. And like I said, yes, Palpatine could manipulate this to make it last a bit longer, but you know, I really don't see there anything him him being able to do to keep this going for for as long as it did in the original timeline. Bearing in mind, this was early in the war, and uh, um, the little war lasted several years, so this would have all happened within a couple of years, I'd say. Um. So, I would definitely say that the, uh, you know, Confederate, uh, you know, the, the independent uh, thingy thingy, I, you know, uh, I definitely say they would just either negotiate a peace deal or unconditional surrender or they would just be taken over by uh, the Republic. And, uh, you know, to Sidious's, uh, um, Rage, or yeah, in rage, he probably would just be enraged. There would be not much he could do about it. He could slow it down, but it would only be delaying the inedible. Um, and the Dooku would be killed, maybe barely, uh, depending on. Well, Sidious did purposely have uh, Grievous go for Obi Wan, so I think he'd. Uh, Probably have Grievous and Obi Wan meet more often, like manipulating more so that they meet more often to, to try and convert um, Anakin to the dark side a bit faster by killing his master. But I don't think that would work, and I think Obi Wan, just like in the time in the, the normal Clone Wars timeline, would kill General Grievous, a Sarge Ventress. 
No, 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 that, uh, that is a little bit more on the grey side. Like, I'm not 100% sure what would happen in Ventures. Like I said, I've already said that she could possibly, while unlikely, possibly become Sidious's new apprentice. But she would definitely not match to Dooku's power and would not be able to keep the Confederacy of Independent Systems together. And the dirt would eventually fall before the Jedi quite easily. And, uh, um, well, relatively speaking, quite easily. Um, and just like Daniel's Grievous, she would not be able to command loyalty from the Separatists. And, uh, uh, but I do not think she would, that, uh, it, that she would turn back to the, well, not either the light side, but not, she wouldn't, she wouldn't, you know, separate from the Sith. Like, she would still st stay a Sith. Until either she was imprisoned or killed, and it, um, because the original catalyst that caused her to desert the Sith Order was Dooku stabbing her in the back, but in this timeline, Dooku dies before he gets a chance to do that, meaning that Sarge never has a real, you know, reason to leave the Sith Order. Now it's very possible that Sidious could choose a new apprentice outside of a Sarge Ventress, but. I really don't have, you know, any idea who he would choose. Either he did have somebody in mind, or he didn't. I'd say he probably would have somebody in mind, but we don't really know who that is, and I can't really make assumptions off based off a character that may or may not exist. Um, I could say he could have somebody in mind to take over after. I mean, after Dooku, probably not be, being as he never even planned for uh, um, Maul to die, let uh, alone um, Dooku after Maul, quite that early into the war, um, and then, uh, you know, they could possibly keep the Separatists together, but again, that's a lot of assumptions um, to make, uh, and as with the presumption that ca that character even exists. Um, and so far I know that character has not been stated in canon or in legends to exist. Like, I do not know if Sidious ever did have a plan to replace Dooku if he did end up dying in the war. And Rab probably did, because again, a war is very um, complicated and not easy to manipulate. Like, not even Sidious himself had complete control over what happened in the war. So, for him, for Dooku, for him to have a pl plan to replace Dooku if Dooku ever died, then uh, I would not be surprised if that was stated in canon or, or in legends, because Sidious was a very smart man, but I can't just make assumptions right in this. Like, I, I know a lot of this video is just, uh, you know, uh, educated assumptions about what could possibly happen or probably happen but you're going into an assumption of an assumption of an assumption that is inception levels of assumptions and uh, the and the, the you know we're basically I would basically have to just be like all I can basically say is that character might, might have existed and might have been able to do it but I can't really say anything about that uh, maybe Voss, he did attempt to turn him to the dark side, I think. I, I think Dooku tried to turn Voss to the dark side and make him a new Sith assassin, but that failed. Yeah. Anyway, well, tell me what do you guys think. Do you, do you think uh, uh, you agree with me that if Dooku died then, the Separatists would tear themselves apart from the inside and then just lose because they don't have the money and resources to keep up a gigantic war that, on that scale? Or do you think they could have held it together um, and uh, just uh, have been able to overwhelm um, uh, the Republic uh, um, with uh, the droid army? Tell me what you think down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, blah blah blah. You know all that fun stuff. Bye bye.